Shalom. Before I begin, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory, as always, unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and who have learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations unto all the Akim, you brothers, preaching his word and truth and his sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom also to you, hopeful elect. Uh, you sincere uh, believers scattered wherever you may be. So this is another installment of the scripture of the day. This one going into Sirach or Ecclesiastes 34 and 16. Uh, very comforting and exhorting and um, Lord willing this be edifying unto you. So it reads again, Ecclesiastes 34 and 16 for the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. Right, because essentially, too, his eyes are everywhere beholding the good and evil of of all creation. You know, there's nothing that goes unhid, um, you know, in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And at the end of the day, he's the one in power and control and putting the thoughts and steps within man and he knows the intent of the heart all right it says he is their mighty protection and strong stay and who would that be who who are those that love the lord truly those that are loving him in truth and in deed essentially ultimately the elect you know it says a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon a preservation from stumbling and in help from falling. And I want to grab some of these words here uh, within this verse. Um, protection. Right, he is their mighty protection and strong say. Upon upon those that love him. And like a Roman. Let me grab it real quick before I uh, get the definitions. Romans. Eight and uh, twenty-eight. One of the ones that stuck with me, you know, in in a comforting scripture to bring you, you know, about a the hell sometimes. You know, it was Romans eight and twenty-eight. It says, "And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are the called according to His purpose." So, whatever situation you may be going through within your life. Even though it's not pleasing onto the flesh, even though if you may not like your circumstance in that instant, um, the Lord has His plan, bro. You know, the Lord has His plan. As cliche as it is, <laughs> God's plan, but it truly is God's plan. You know, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's plan to put you through the experience that you're going through now, um, to build you up. You know. Because it's all going to work out for the good at the end. You know, it said that all things work together for good to them that love the most high. So let me grab this word. Uh, uh, protection. I'm going to grab three. Protection. I wanted to grab protection. Um, defense. And preservation. So let me go to the Edamon. Which essentially they all mean the same thing. <laughs> it really just means that hey, the Lord is going to keep us. Especially in times of trouble, man. He's coming with miracles. You know, and Lord willing, we be some of those men that receive. Salakia, that receive spiritual power on this side. You know, because the Lord is uh, with, with what Esau has in store. You know, with robo dogs and drones and. All his technology that he has and really that the Lord gave him. The Lord is going to emit. Gift power unto his elect. You know. And his, uh when you say those that fear the Lord or the angel, of the Lord. Basically shields us. 
You know, the precept escapes me right now, but Psalm 34 and 7. All right, but this is a protection here in the Edamon online. It says, um, from the mid 14th century, uh, Protex Sion, if I'm not mistaken, so like I'm, like, I'm probably butchering it. It says, shelter, defense, that which shields from harm or injury, keeping guardianship, <laughs> act or state of protecting, that which protects, protection, shield. And, um, you know, right now with this knowledge, wisdom, understanding that the Lord imparted onto us, it is a shield. You know, it's a shield. It's the uh, what put on the whole armor of the most high. His word is his, uh, is our armor. It, it shields us from the from the wiles of the devil. It shields us from these different philosophies that that are off and false. Shields us from the lies. All right. And his knowledge, this truth, a Yahweh Bashim Yahshai ultimately shields us um, from the wicked rulers at hand and, and principalities, man. These demons. You know. So being with the Lord, man, we're on the right side and we just pray and hope, you know, we stay on the winning side until the end. You know, praying that he takes not his Holy Spirit away from us. Let me grab the word. Uh, defense and then preservation. And what the scriptures also say. Uh, you know, the name of the Lord is strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Right? We have the names of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai and trying our best within our walk to, to uphold the standard that he set forth for us. And he's a help. You know, like like I said, a help from falling. And a righteous man falleth seven times, but he get it back up. You know, because we're all we all fall short of the glory and we can never do enough, truly. Right? But it's a it's the uh, it's the effort, the fight that we have to put forth daily, you know, and some days is going to be better than others. All right, but we can't throw in that towel. This is defense. It says now uh, sent uh, Salakia 13 from the 1300s action or guard of guarding or shielding from attack or injury act of defending by fighting a fortified place of refuge. Ward off, protect. Oh, wow, thing protected or forbidden, right? Like the scriptures say, uh, do my prophets no harm. And again, man, when Jacob's trouble pops off, what do he say uh, in Second Ezra 2? I just read it. Um, essentially, now let me just grab it real quick. Because we have nothing to worry about, man. And it's already written. You know, the Lord already gave us a victory. And he set up, you know, his men to, to to essentially go through it and to be the testimonies. And Lord willing, we're, we're of that number to where he shields us, protects us, and then ultimately delivers us, man, from the destruction that's coming to pass. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 2, and I'm going to jump past it. Oh, this is it. Second Ezra 2 and 27 to the point, really, this whole chapter. And Lord willing, I could come back and make a lesson uh, on this. Second Ezra 2 and 27 says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. And it just reminds you of, of the favor, man. The favor he's going to have on his elect. While people are going to be starving, scrambling for answers, looking for food and water, he's going to take care of, of, of his elect. He have care for his elect. It says, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord, right? Because they're not the people of the Most High. You know, the Lord don't love them. All right, so let me grab a uh, go back. Sirach 34, 15 or 16, kind of 16. So one last one real quick.
preservation. Wow. Early 15th century uh, preservation. Protection from disease. And let me grab the word disease. Because that's two thirds of our people. With the mindset, you know, of the heathen. Really following after the heathen. Disease, noun, discomfort, inconvenience, distress, trouble. Discomfort, distress, trouble, misfortune, sickness, without a way. Yeah, they're without a sound mind. Because <laughs> really, when you're sick, your body is not at ease. All right, so they're sick in the mind. They don't have this truth. You know, Romans 11 and 7. All right, but his elect and Lord willing, again, were those men, women, and children in this time. We have the protection from disease. All right, via Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Waha Rachakwadash. You know, that was gifted unto us. It says to guard beforehand, preserve, sense of protection, act of keeping safe or sound. So that that being the point, bro, that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is gonna keep us safe and sound. You know, he's gonna keep us in perfect peace. Unto the end and even if we have to uh, perish you know on this side and really there's no such thing as dying we just transition i know that you have your spot solidified and you're going to be one of the first ones on them chariots you know you're going to receive your crown one of the first ones to receive their crown first and that's what we have to look forward to bro the kingdom of heaven is fuck everything on this side whatever esau edom has to offer us it's whatever, bro, because it's all temporal. That's the mindset that 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 we have. You know, there's nothing uh, within this present evil world that that has a hold on us to where we switch eyes. And Lord, when we don't, because you have, you know, some that are prophesied that are, you know, going to uh, uh, turn. Or give in. They're going to fold. All right. But the Lord is going to keep his elect. So with that. Hey, Lord willing. This was edifying and exhorting. Unto you hopeful elect. Again I want to give all praise, honor and glory. Unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rechakwadash. Double honors again unto the apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Wah. Abad the ball, why Kwam Yasharab? Shalom.